Welcome to another masterclass in unconventional cocktails with me, your host, Cameron, aka the Cocktail Coach, aka the Mindful Mixologist. Now, last month we took the humble jam donut and we beautifully infused that into the Negrona. It was delicious, but today we're going to be taking the nation's favourite breakfast with the nation's favourite cocktail and we're going to be making a Kellogg's cornflakes infused espresso with cereal milk espresso martini or as I'm calling it, the cereal drink. As a chef in New York City, I believe the name is Christina Tosi or Tosi, Christina something. Anyway, she's famed, renowned for her milk bar, where she takes cereal milk and she infuses it into different kinds of base. They all look delicious, they all look beautiful. I first became aware of her a while ago when I was watching Chef's Table, and since then, there's been this thing in the back of my mind saying we've got to make a cereal cocktail which is how I came about this recipe with a Kellogg's cornflake infused espresso martini so this is how you make it and you can do this at home super simple easy to follow up first thing you'll need is two cups because we're going to be making two cornflake blends one's going to be espresso one's going to be milk and then we're going to mix those together so you're going to need yourself some cereal seems all this is the Kellogg's cornflakes espresso martini we have gone for the beast of all cereal, it is the cornflakes. I've tried a few others, but this one, it works wonderful in the espresso martini. First, you're gonna split those cornflakes between two different cups. Now, don't matter how much you add, we're just having fun for the sake of having fun. Fun for fun. Next, we're gonna pour in our milk and espresso. Milk in one, espresso in the other, super simple. If you don't have a coffee machine, you can use instant coffee. That's perfectly fine. In fact, with instant coffee being a little bit more diluted and a little bit weaker, I find it makes more of an infused, more of a heavy cornflakes infused flavor. So it works beautifully. Now we've got that, all we're gonna do is we're gonna sit, we're gonna wait for that to infuse. Should take about five or 10 minutes. Have a little taste as you go along. Have a little smell. That's okay, you do you. But now is the part where we patiently wait for the infusion. Okay, now we've waited about 10 minutes, it's time to strain these out. So grab your glasses again, you can use the same one. We're all friends here, we can reuse, that's okay. Grab yourself a, um, grab yourself a strainer, and then let's just start straining, that's simple. Here we go with the milk. There we are. Now it seems like it's all going in the same cocktail. I'm just gonna double up that strainer. Of a mess. <laughs> clean that up, you know. You know what they say, clean as you go and it'll never get dirty. And there we have it. Kellogg's cornflake infused milk, something we're all used to, something we look forward to with every bowl of cereal. On the right side, your left, and on my left side, your right, we have the Kellogg's cornflakes infused espresso. Look at that. Smells nice, smells like breakfast. Somewhat nostalgic, but that's probably because I haven't had cornflakes in a very long time. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start building this cocktail. Grab yourself a shaker, move those to one side. Starting with 50 milliliters of vodka. Right. Next up, we got a little bit of sugar syrup. We want to sweeten this cocktail. This is the one to one ratio, one part hot water, one part caster sugar, blend it up till it dissolves. You got yourself some sugar syrup. And we'll do 
We'll do 15 millilitres of that. Nice and sweet. Now for the fun part. We're not gonna add any coffee liqueur. Instead, we're just gonna do 50 millilitres of our Kellogg's Corn Flakes infused espresso. And we're gonna do 25 millilitres of our cereal milk. Fill that up with ice, pop your lid on, give that a good hard shake. And now for the serve. You could do this in a coupe and they can gnaw off a martini glass like you used to see in espresso martini. But we're gonna mix up a little bit here. This is smart blend. This is a masterclass in unconventionality. So we're gonna mix it up. What I have here is this stemless martini glass comes in two pieces. You've got the top here, and then you've got this little bowl to put it in. You know, it works great if um, you've got things like ice, you put ice in the bottom, maybe even some smoke, some herbs. You can pick it up, oh, whatever, it works great. I'll tell you what, if you want one of these, I'll leave an affiliate link down in the description. Check that out, you can get them on Amazon, really cheap. I'll show you exactly where I got mine from. So we've got to put that on there for now. What we're going to do, we're going to fill this up with cornflakes. We're going to serve this in a bowl of cereal. There you go. A little bit of cereal, a little bit of that milk from before, we'll just reuse it. Yeah, look at that. A little bowl of cereal. How fancy is that? Luxury. High class, fine dining, in one bowl, in one cocktail. Crazy. But we're doing it. That's how we do it here. You better know. Put the top on. We're just going to strain this out. About to garnish it. We are going to take three espresso beans, as a classic espresso martini should. There we are, one for health, one for wealth, and one for happiness. And then we'll serve it with the spoon. There's another masterclass in unconventional cocktails. Now, if you want to see the full article on this, go down in the description, check out the links, where you can get the glass from, the Smart Blend blog, link to all the other stuff I've done. Until then, enjoy the Kellogg's Cornflake infused espresso martini with cereal milk or a cereal drinker.